In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make captions for your Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, or even your TikToks in the Venture Resolve 18. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Before I start this video, this is going to be a guide on how to start making these captions. I'm going to be giving you guys all the tools and all the resources and the rest is just up to you. This is going to be completely free. You don't have to pay for the Venture Resolve the premium version or any other plugins that i'm going to be mentioning in this video this is very good if you guys are barely starting off and don't want to waste any money either going on premiere pro and paying like that 50 dollars a month pack or even these websites that charge per second or per minute i would show you guys how to do this it's completely free and the first thing that you guys have to install is snap captions snap captions is made by orson lord and it's a plugin that allows you to customize the subtitles that the venture resolve generates using the ai tool and the latest feature that they integrated and with snap captions you could actually save these as a preset and apply it more than once in the future with one click of a button so the first thing that is going to ask is how much would you like to pay like i said this is completely free so you click click on zero and put get now now make sure it says one next snap captions email address go ahead and enter your email address uh for this example i'm going to be clicking davinci resolve 18 at gmail.com your nickname click um your name your full name your alias it doesn't matter next you want to click on checkout now and a few seconds you will get a notification saying that you guys got this um pack or this plugin go ahead and download it and put it in your folder it should be on your download folder right here you want to right click on it and click on extract all this is very important or else it's not going to be allowing you to proceed to the next step once you do it should make a different folder and it should appear snap captions template now there's a bunch of files in this folder but theoretically you only need two which is a snap captions template.drp or the snap captions .lua. and the snap captions template is going to be a template of many presets safe for you and you guys could use it it's completely free what is very amazing is that it has like eight different types of presets so if you guys don't like one you guys could check out the other one and if you guys like for example a preset you can actually customize it and save it as a new preset so if you guys want to have access to this you never know maybe one day you want to right click on this great spot and click on import project now it should say snap captions template dot drp and click on open i already have one so yes let's just go ahead and import this project and here you go now it's going to look something like this don't worry all we have to focus on is on the snap captions and these are some of the text that i was talking about i don't think it's going to allow you to look at them right now but don't worry next you want to click on workspace and click on console a bunch of red lines should appear if not don't worry i have this installed already so maybe that's why but now we want to integrate snap captions into the venture resolve so remember that uh snap captions .lua. we want to copy this drag it and on install tool to resolve script folder click on install and if done correctly you want to click on x and and it's going to say snap captions install to blah 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 blah. finally we want to click on x now what i would highly recommend click on snap captions and click on Control c and place it on a project that you guys want to start in so for this example i'm going to be clicking on this surfer tracker video that i did last week go ahead and check it out guys if you guys haven't already it's pretty awesome and on the master we want to click on this gray area and put Control v i already had a copy for this example but i want to be in the same um in the same page as you guys before i continue this video feel free to check out my new instagram page Cacho films i try to upload more of my video editing and more on my youtube side on that instagram if you have any questions feel free to dm me there's going to be a higher chance that i actually answer your questions through instagram than in youtube studio because i'm usually not in youtube studio every day 
and on instagram i actually have notifications on so feel free just click that follow button and just say that you came from this video you guys don't have to do this all the time right here i have a couple presets already saved with me so if you guys don't want to copy and paste every time that you guys open a new project what you guys could do is click on the snap captions and click on export bin uh let's go ahead and place it on download and click on save all you have to do is click on master right click import bin and it should be right here snap captions drb keep in mind this is not going to update it so let's say you add a file or you add a preset into the snap captions it's not going to save unless you export it as a bin and import it once again so how this snap caption plugin works right Right here, we have a video of me in doing this my video, intro. I'm going to be showing you how to add any image into your surface in DaVinci Resolve 18. That's pretty much what I said. We want to click on timeline, create subtitles from audio, language English, caption presets, subtitle default, maximum 15, line single, and create. Once you create in this video, it should I'm going do it. to be showing you how to add any image into your surface in DaVinci Resolve 18. So right here, it actually messed up. I want to say DaVinci. DaVinci Resolve 18. And we want to click on space. We want to delete this. And we are good, right? In this video. We want to get rid of this comma video i'm going to be showing you how to add any image into your surface in davinci resolve 18. yeah that's pretty much all we have to do let me go ahead and de delete this i don't think it's going to interfere but in case it does i want to be safe um where is that is it this one or is it this one okay it's the second one go let me go ahead and delete this real quick and we are good yeah we are good now very important what i would highly recommend is go ahead and just grab one of your texts we want to click alt and drag this and just make a copy pretty pretty much that's what i did you can either put ctrl c and ctrl v or with the alt button just hold it and just drag it now of course this is how it's going to look right it and it looks pretty ugly we want to grab the text plus right here and what we want to do just grab the text in this video and place it right here so this is how it looks and this is how it looks we want to delete the old one and we want to remain with our text plus i'm going to be doing a simple edit um and feel free to do this right here is gonna actually let me go ahead and hide this. Can I hide it? Yeah. Feel free to customize your text. I'm going to do this real quick. Uh, nothing crazy. But like I said, feel free to customize this. Click your font. Click, uh, look at any inspiration. So after a couple of minutes customizing my text, this is what I got. So I did a little popping and animation right here which looks pretty sick i also just did it yellow with the shadow and that's pretty much all i did didn't really do that much nothing too crazy nothing um that no one else could do now let's say if you want to apply this same customization text into all of these we want to go into snap captions we want to click our text and we want to name this just name it something that you guys will, will remember so i'm going to put video so that's what i use for my video now we just want to save it just in case we want to enable the subtitle track and we want to click on workspace scripts comp and snap captions right here is going to be all the presets that it has these are actually mine so you don't so you guys don't have to worry about it but the one that we did right now is actually called video so we want to click on video case conversion uh case conversion i'm going to click this to uppercase remove punctuations in case we didn't do this manually and easily click on generate 
So what it's gonna do is gonna disable the track and it's gonna make these new tracks. In this video, and it's gonna look like something like this. How to add any image into your surface in DaVinci Resolve 18. I also forgot to mention I actually added camera shake and drop shadow. This is why it has drop <laughs> drop shadow, and this is why it it does camera shake. I forgot to mention it. My bad. And there you go. That's all we did. We did. made some changes and you guys are video. set. That's pretty much all we did. And like I mentioned, there's endless opportunities on this customization. You guys can make this even better yourself. I know that you guys are way better than this, but if you guys are already starting off, this is a good process and a good guide to start off with. You guys could get some inspiration and go ahead and customize this as much as you guys want. Feel free to check out my word by word animation, which is going to be somewhere in the corners where I show you guys how to do a word by word animation in DaVinci Resolve 18. And this is going to be way better for your text for your future videos. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, don't forget to please subscribe and hit the button and see you guys later. Take this.